Hi, this is Sandy and I'll be showing you how to assemble the beer growler box today. We'll start by gluing the largest pieces of the bottom portion of the box together. So just add glue to the long tab, side tab, and those it's actually oriented the way it will be. So those uh, small tabs will go towards the bottom of the box. Once the tab is secure, go ahead and flip it over and glue the other side tab underneath the opposite side. And this will complete a circular center of the bottom part of the growler. Next I assemble the uh, bottom edge. So there's two pieces. Go ahead and glue them together with that side tab. Make sure it's good and dry before the next step. So next we'll anchor uh, one tab of the middle of the box to the bottom edge. And make sure it's dry before continuing. And we'll continue to glue the bottom edge around the bottom of the box by gluing each tab under each of the sections. So continue to do this until you get to the last tab at the end and you will glue the side tab as well to close it up. So just go ahead and watch the rest of this assembly. It's rather simple, but do, do take your time. In this step, we'll attach the inner bottom panel to the growler by attaching it first and anchoring it to one tab. This is a technique I used all the time. Once it's dry, go ahead and anchor another one. I would, I would, uh, you can continue to glue them around, but I like to anchor it across. Do one more when you have this many tabs. It'll help to glue the rest of the tabs down. Now I'm a little messy with the glue. Normally, I wouldn't be that messy. As you see, I'm wiping it up. Um, but try to do your best to keep glue off your hands on this box as it will show, but this, can, this part won't show as you'll have a panel that covers it. So it's not that critical, um, but do be careful with the glue, which I'm not so great at. Once all the tabs are glued down and secured, we'll add the circular panel to hide all the exposed tabs. So just glue it on, and I, I would just uh, recommend to flip it over and apply pressure from within uh, to help secure the panel. Similar to the bottom edge, we have to attach the two pieces to make the top edge of the bottom of the box, and then we'll attach it similarly. The only difference is the tabs are actually on the edge of this one versus the tabs being on the middle portion. So you'll glue on each of the tabs one at a time. I did uh, glue it on about three at a time. It just depends on how quickly your glue dries until you get to the end and then uh, glue it shut by gluing the final side tab. Now to the top of the box, we'll glue together the neck piece, remember just two little tabs. You'll um, add glue and attach it underneath the other side. And uh, note that little opening, uh, that's for the top portion of the handle. This next piece attaches to the top of the neck and the lid will slide over it. Um, the bottom scores for the bottom scores gently fold the little tabs and fold out the bottom lip before gluing 
Um, it requires a little bit of a gentle touch. Glue the first tab on the right to the inside of the neck, starting to the left of the opening. Uh, this aligns the tabs up properly as the tab to uh, attach to the opening, above the opening, is shorter than all the other tabs. As with other steps, uh, make sure the tab is secure before gluing the remainder of the tabs inside the box. And due to scoring to make the lip, it is essential to glue one tab at a time in the matching section of the neck. This will allow the uh, lip to bend up appropriately as you attach each tab. And then you'll continue to the end until you uh, glue the side tabs underneath the other side. Now we'll glue the neck piece to the slope piece below it. Um, just attach glue to the tab above the opening on the slope piece and make sure that it aligns with the opening in the neck piece. Those openings need to be aligned so we can attach the handle piece. So you'll just glue on the tabs of the slope piece to the inside of the neck piece, uh, one by one in each of the sections, until you get to the end, just like every other step. Um, you glue all the tabs underneath, and then you will glue the side tab to close it shut. As with most steps, try to make sure that your fingers are clean of glue. Um, keep a wet paper towel handy to wipe your fingers if they do get glue on them. Next we'll score the handle piece, so you'll just fold down the sides and the tabs and uh, fold on the scores on the top part of the handle. Then you will just glue the sides on using the various tabs. Some tabs are on the sides and some are on the attached to the top portion of the handle piece. And this is just displaying the second side as the first side was already assembled. Once the handle is complete, we'll attach it in a later step, in just a few steps. Then attach the bottom edge to the top like you have in previous steps. To attach the handle to the top, go ahead and add glue to the tabs, the top tabs, and then you'll slide it into the opening. And then you'll fold back the tabs to attach it to each of the areas. And that'll appear. You may have to hold it for a moment before it is secure. Then you'll insert the bottom portion of the handle into the bottom opening. Add glue to the side tabs and pull them back to adhere to the inside of the box. Once the side tabs are secured, you will add glue to the that last tab from the bottom edge and slide it in to attach it to the top of the inside of the handle. And then hold it until it's secure. 
Now we'll assemble the lid, just add a glue to that side tab and glue it underneath the other side. Then after this we will um, insert the polygonal, not the circular one, but the polygonal panel inside and we'll glue it to the tabs on the top of the lid. We'll start by gluing one tab first to anchor it and then you'll do a couple tabs at a time. You can do uh, three to four. There's such small tabs to, um, to glue them to the top and then I just push from inside to apply pressure from the back to help secure them. And you'll do this until they're all glued to the top. And then we'll have a panel to cover all these tabs. Now that just glue the round circular panel to the top of the lid and apply pressure to secure it. And then to glue it on to the top of the growler, go ahead and add glue to the top portion of that growler piece and slide it on. And you shouldn't have to apply much pressure. To finish it, go ahead and add the panel of your choice. There's a couple to choose from. Glue it to the front. As you can see, it's scored. And then go ahead and add the optional uh, tag to it as well. It's not shown here. This is showing how it opens and closes. But you can also add the tag around the neck as shown. Thanks for watching.